Jay is with Scott. Yeah, and this is Jay. Oh, we're doing the sunglasses again. This is Scott and Jay show. <laughs> starting out. Starting out cool. Ah, yes. And that's about enough. You can see. So Saturday, beautiful day. Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Oh, it's Oklahoma. gorgeous, yeah. God's country. Amen to that, brother. So, uh, you were talking last week about the, uh, saving Mr. Banks. Yeah, yeah. So I watched it. And it's good. Yep, it, it is, is good. good. Yeah. Although I did want to punch Emma Thompson in the face about 15 minutes into it. Yeah, so, yeah. I felt the same way. I was like, oh my gosh, come on, just chill for a minute. Man. But you listen at the very end of the movie. Uptight. I loved it at the very end of the movie. They played the recording, the recording of, of uh, the actual lady that... that Bill Travers. Yeah. And I, I just thought that was really... Uh, Emma Thompson did a great job with yeah. it because she sounded just like her. Right. She just and so did Tom, a, Tom Hanks did a great job. She just a swift uh, kick in the rear. In the back, behind. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway... Kind of makes you want to see Mary Poppins after all that, see what they went through to get the movie made. Time to step in time. Yep. So, <coughs> so I saw Saving Mr. Banks. What did you see? I watched uh, the Dallas Buyers Club. All right. Oof. Yeah, good job there. Um, so what, what, what did, when you were scanning, why did, what, did, what made you pick that one? All right, all right. My wife's infatuated, infatuated with Matthew McConaughey, I guess. So it was, it was that your wife's choice. It was either that or Wolf of Wall Street, and so we flipped. That might it. not be too bad, although I haven't seen that yet either. Yeah, I was kind of worried about the Buyers Club, and and uh, yeah, it lived up to my expectations. Because <laughs> so, what's it about? It's about this guy in Dallas who buys. <laughs> Sets up a club. So, so for buyers. Um, Matthew McConaughey, his name's Ron in the movie. He's a um, uh, rodeo guy, electrician, but he lived fast and hard, and and uh, ended up uh, contracting the HIV virus uh, in the eighties. With uh, not not quite yet, because you get the HIV, then you get the AIDS apparently. But, but he contracted HIV. And um, he, at the time, you know, they thought it was just a gay disease instead of having uh, promiscuous sex. But um, that may be the first time we've used that word on the show. Hmm. So Good my job, apologies. Jake. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that, that uh, it was the course of him. Uh, they, they gave him 30 days to live, and he ends up going down to... Um, Mexico buying some illegal drugs and uh, or not illegal, just unapproved FDA FDA unapproved drugs. Right, and it actually turned his life around, and he ended up living seven more years. So it did. Um, the movie's about his fight with the FDA. Um, it is profanely laced. Uh, it's got uh, what's, it, what's it rated R? Yeah, yeah it's got nudity in it. It's not yeah. definitely not one you want to watch with the kids. Um, it leaves you at the end just saying, what? Oh, I felt awful after the movie. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so it's a good, oh. uplifting yeah. Yeah. money well spent. Oh. <coughs> yeah. So this uh, week's app of the week, my pick, I'm telling you when I saw this, it was about went through the roof. I think I sent a tweet out about it, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Far Future World is out. Yes! So, I'm playing that on my phone. It's been all night yet. Last night, trying to get that figured out. It's got some nice uh, upgrades, some, some some new twists, new zombies. They get rid of that stupid big zombie. Uh, he's, it's just in another form. Okay. Yeah. So, Plants vs. Zombies 2: The Far Future World is out. Actually. It's not out for free. You have to pay for it if you want it right now. It'll come out for free later, I'm sure. I went ahead and paid for it. Four ninety nine. Had to have it. What? Hang on, time. Four ninety nine. Yeah. It was how much? Four ninety nine. Oh. Well, I should been... pay for the bundle. Okay, I spent enough on that game. <laughs> Let's just say I can't afford to spend another four ninety nine. 
Four ninety nine. Wow. Hey, it's all relative, man. Four ninety nine. You dropped that. You dropped that on your coffee this morning. That's true. So. No, I didn't. It was free. I had a freebie. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. So anyway. Um. <clears throat> So that's the Dallas Buyers, Buyers Club, the movie, the app of the week. So uh, health-wise, you said not to drink any dairy products. I did pretty good last week without any dairy, although I did have a Fred's, Freddy's Frozen Custard Turtle Concrete Mini. That's a lot of dairy. That's the <laughs> wrong kind of dairy to eat. <laughs> but I just had it once. Mm. Does that count? What's the health tip of this week? For this week, um, so the health tip this week is how to count your calories to carbs to oh, fats now you're too and all that stuff. That's already too complicated. No, no, no. That's no. already too complicated. All right. Okay, go ahead. So you can find out what your um, what you should be eating in a day. Um, so I'm I'm the particular type of body type, and I forget what they call it. Then I'm naturally pear shaped. I'm a little bit heavy. If you haven't. Figured that out over the last year. I've lost a lot, but I'm naturally heavy, and so my intake. I need to be forty percent or thirty-five percent proteins. You were heavy. You're not heavy now. No, forty percent uh, carbs and twenty-five percent uh, healthy fats. The healthy fats being like um, olive oil and um, like guacamole and stuff. That's good stuff. Um, so to figure out how much you should eat is every for every one gram of carbs and every one gram of uh, protein, they equal four calories. So how do you know all this? How do you, how do you who's gonna stop and figure all that out? Besides you, if you care about yourself like I do, Scott, you wouldn't have a problem figuring out a budget and sticking to it. <laughs> Okay, so so what I figured out is my forty. So here it is. My that's thirty-five. That. Oh, that's uh-huh. horrible. That's an almond croissant right there, Starbucks. Yeah. So there's no numbers on here. You have to look that up. I had the oatmeal. Mmm, good stuff. I have to look it up. I have to go look it up. Starbucks has a great app to uh, look okay. up their, their food. So, so I'll look it up. Yep, so look it up. So my my particular goal is 35% protein, 40% carbs, 25% fats. I know I need to have about 150 grams of protein, about 165 grams of carbs, and about 70 grams of healthy fats. So that helps me know what I should and should not eat. And then use an app like Lose It to help track all that stuff. Or you can just become a vegetarian. True. Yeah, if you become a vegetarian, you can do a lot. Yeah. So, wow. what does that tell you if I've gained weight and lost inches? That's your muscle bound. My muscles have grown. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's good. Okay, so there's the tip. I can't tell you what you just said, but next week we'll talk working out. <coughs> working out next week. So you have to count calories and do a percentage, get your algorithm going, and get a calculator out. Get a calculator out. Get, get an app, and it'll help you. Lose it will help you figure it out. We'll just become a vegetarian. We'll become a vegetarian. Okay. So more in sports, Big Twelve. Second, uh, well, they just win. J- they just absolutely lay a brick at the NCAA tournament. Uh, OU, OSU, they're both yeah, out they're first out round. Out. Um, I really thought Baylor had a shot. Uh, they stunk it up Thursday night. Oklahoma City's out. Thunder. Iowa State was the last one to hold out. They were the Big 12 tournament champions and. They were the last holdout to uh, play in the NCAA tournament. They lost last night uh, by a few. They had a valiant effort, but uh, their big guy got hurt and did not play. So that hurt. 
I did not. Uh, that that contributed well to uh, your loss. Yeah. So we said last week that uh, Wichita State was going to win it all, and not so much. Not so much. So who's your new pick now? Um, maybe Michigan State. Michigan State. Or, well, I take that back. I'll probably Florida. Florida looks really good. So Bartlesville by the billboards. We got the Fox on the fairway. April. Uh, I can't remember. We'll have to drive back by. Yeah, we'll drive back by and see. Then there's an egg drop from uh, at the Sooner Park, and that's April six, I think, or something. That's the stuff they put too much information on the billboard. You can't. Oh man. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. We'll have to go drive by again. And then uh, the the easy one to remember, Easter Community Center. Uh, Life Church is doing that deal April twentieth. Uh, anything else? Bartlesville uh, by the billboards. That's all I can remember. Yeah, Easter at the community center April 20th. Fox on the fairway, I'm not sure. Egg drop at Sooner Park, I'm not sure the date on that. Here's a, here is a little tidbit of something. Oh, tidbit. Um, my daughter is uh, winning an award from Oklahoma, the University of Oklahoma. Oklahoma. For, yes. Uh, winning an award for what? For a picture she took for the yearbook. She's she's uh, on the yearbook committee and uh, is going to be one of the editors next year. And um, she submitted a picture. Yeah, she submitted her picture um, and it got an award. Wow! Yeah. And the grin. She goes, does, "Does someone get an award or something?" It's going to be a uh, you know fragile award. Fragile. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. So we're going to put it up and display it prominently in front of our window. Yeah, in the window. It's a major award. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Good to her. Yeah. So she goes, leaves here at uh, four forty-five on Monday. Woo! Why hey, do kids in school always have these weird, crazy hours? They travel crap, and you know, like on the school bus from here to Kentucky, and then no, it was Tennessee. Well, I'm just picking the state. And I'm not talking about your trip. But was your trip crappy? It wasn't crappy, was it? Nope. It was a good trip. Look at yeah. that. Great trip. Look at that. Nashville. Oh, yeah. I think right there, Nashville. I figure out what you were doing there for a second. <laughs> well, it was that Dallas Buyers Club, you know, showing their breast <laughs> Breasticles? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and for the ladies, they did show Matthew McConaughey's backside. Oh, well, there you go. That's yeah, nice. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> all right, so that'll, that'll be a pass on, on my Navy. Yes, kill the Dallas Fire Club. There you go. So anyway, so tell me about the, that. Uh, tell me about when you were swinging on that swing set. Yeah. You were pushing that kid on the swing set. Yeah, so when we were in Tennessee, I was pushing this kid. We just up the park, and I was pushing him, and he was like, kept going, wanted to go higher, wanted to go higher. So finally, I reared back, pushed him, and the swing 